People are drawn to the unknown, to mysteries. Stone reliefs carved over 2,000 years ago reveal the fantastic world of the immortals. Amid the clouds and stars, Nuwa created all living things, and the Queen Mother of the West made the elixir of life. These immortals represent our ancestors' pursuit of eternity. the people of the Han Dynasty understand life? Let's search for the answer from the myths carved in stone that have been sleeping underground for thousands of years. Yuan Zhu Yu is from Nanyang, Hanan province. He's been searching for handstone reliefs for 20 years, driven by his passion for them. <laughs> Nanyang was a large county back in the Han Dynasty and is home to many historical sites and relics. But with the passage of time, many stone reliefs have been lost. In 1991, Yuan chanced upon two stone reliefs. These two door-like relief carvings had animals carved on the front and human figures carved on the back. Yuan was drawn to them the moment he saw them. Back then, stone reliefs were underappreciated. In rural areas, they were used as paving stones, washboards, or to build pigsties and latrines. In Nanyang, Han Dynasty Stone Relief Museum, Yuan sees a familiar stone relief. He thinks he's seen one like it before. The animal on it looks like the legendary vermilion bird. According to ancient myth, the vermilion bird lived forever. It guarded the south from monsters and ghosts. These are the doors of a Han Dynasty tomb. They keep the peace of the departed. During the Han Dynasty, the residents of Nanyang inherited the beliefs of the state of Chu of the pre-Qin period. They revered the phoenix and believed in sorcery. They believed that lightning and thunder were caused by the thunder god. The rainbow was a mythical creature named Hong. In the eyes of the people of the Han Dynasty, the world was under the control of the immortals. 
In those days, people used gods and other immortal beings to explain away things they couldn't understand. Their power to amaze has endured into the modern age. 100 years ago, Lu Xun, a leading figure in modern Chinese literature, marveled at the magnificence of these sculptures. In a way, the Han Dynasty represents the early youth of the Chinese nation. It was an age that seemed to be able to combine a primeval wildness with the wisdom of the hundred schools of thought that emerged in the spring and autumn and warring states periods. Its people were confident and curious about the world. Under the influence of his father, Yuan Zhu Yu, Yuan Shore has developed a passion for stone reliefs too. After being buried for such a long time, many of the designs on the stone reliefs have become worn and hard to make out. Rubbings of the reliefs reveal their intricate detail. It's a world of eternal life, and life is the greatest thing. There was a popular poem in the Han Dynasty. Life is like the dew on grass. Life ends like the sun evaporating the dew. The dew will appear again the next morning. But when will the departed come back? Zheng Hung was born at Nanyang during the Eastern Han Dynasty. He accomplished great feats in astronomy, mathematics, and created many scientific instruments. In one of his odes, he describes a trip to a wonderland. In the ode, he comes to an immortal mountain in the sea. He sees a giant turtle dancing with Mount Peng Lai on its back, but the mountains do not topple. He collects Ganoderma in Yingzhou and travels on clouds. He stays in Fusong at night. He dreams of the grain growing on the peak of Mount Kun Lu. Throughout this imaginary journey, Jung forgets life's worries and finds inner peace and freedom. On tomb sweeping day, Yuan Zhu Yu and his son come to worship their ancestors. In his opinion, worshiping the gods and ancestors is the most important tradition of the Chinese people. He believes the souls of the ancestors never go away and are always around to help and bless their descendants. Tomorrow you will fence the bar. 
Un World Wide Coach. On Tomb Sweeping Day, people offer sacrifices to their deceased ancestors. After thousands of years, the world is still the world. It's only individual lives that come and go. Gao Min works for the Red Cross. In May 2014, she received a call asking her to find a good doctor. Several days earlier, a 25-year-old man had been found lying on the ground. It was raining and he was bleeding from the head. A passerby had sent him to the hospital. The young man has uremia. He has been receiving dialysis treatment for four years and is on the waiting list for a kidney transplant. Because of the cerebral hemorrhage caused by the accident and severe organ failure caused by uremia, he is still in a coma. His parents, brother and sister, have come to Guangzhou and are waiting outside the ICU. Gao sees scenes like this all the time. She is a human organ donation coordinator. Organ donation is the donation of biological tissue or an organ of the human body from a person who is brain dead to a living recipient in need of a transplant. It can only be carried out with the approval of the donor in advance or by a family member of the donor. This is one way in which developments in medical science have enabled people to extend their lives. Zhu Chang is a sculptor. During his leisure time, he likes to walk and drink tea at Ching Chang Mountain in Sichuan Province. In the eyes of Zhu, the people of the Han Dynasty were full of imagination and free to live a happy life. People enjoyed their creative lifestyles. In one Yue Fu poem, the poet writes that time flies, but people are like visitors and cannot stay forever. So the best approach is to eat, drink, and be merry. Jew has built a stilt house by the river. It's not just Jews' home, it's also a museum. Jew has collected hundreds of pottery items, barns, hearths, wells, and pigsties unearthed from Han tombs. It's like a snapshot of life in the Han Dynasty.
Jew has some dancing pottery figures in his museum. Figures of performers and storytellers like these are commonly found in high status and dynasty tombs. People wanted to take the wealth they had accumulated with them when they died. They hoped the lifestyles they had enjoyed would continue in the afterlife and that they would be able to fulfill the hopes and desires that were not realized in their lives. In the Han Dynasty, many people valued longevity. Many thought that they could become immortal. When they became immortal, it was believed they would grow feathers and wings and be able to fly. These two people are playing a gambling game popular in the Han Dynasty. The one who loses will have a drink. They are winged immortals. Immortals fly in the sky. They pick Ganoderma, play with divine animals, and feed divine deer. They are young forever. The people of the Han Dynasty longed for lives full of such freedom. Zhu Qingsheng is the director of the Han Dynasty Painting Research Institute of Peking University. He has been doing research into Han painting for over 20 years and hopes these will help him understand the history and people of the period. The ceiling of the Han tomb discovered at Qi Lin Hill, Nanyang, is made of nine huge stones, symbolizing the nine levels of the sky. The chief god stands at the center of the universe. The azure dragon, white tiger, vermilion bird, and black turtle are the gods of the four directions and are in charge of the 28 constellations. They also protect people's souls. Fushi and Nuwa, holding the sun and moon in their hands, symbolize fertility. Together with the five gods, they form the yin-yang and five element chart of the Han Dynasty. In the outer circle are the stars of the great bear and the little bear. They're in charge of life and death. The people of the Han Dynasty believed that heaven, earth, and human beings were inseparable. People's fate was decided by heaven and earth. Their behavior also had an influence on nature. The 
那种原始的力量把它放到里面去。也不能完全说它就是一个简单的结合，这个铺设比较一个墓葬是活着的人对死去的人的最后的一次服务关怀，他就是极尽全力把可能给予的都给予，况且人一旦过了生死之大限啊，他已经没有必要顾及到社会的规定和规范，他就可以把他的欲望和愿望啊无限制的扩大。Two thousand years ago, the king of the state of Chu passed away. In accordance with his wishes, his servants dressed him in a jade suit and buried him in a jade coffin. At that time, it was believed that the body decayed because of harassment by evil spirits. The theory was that jade could expel evil spirits and protect the body. From the king's side, he has to go to his tomb every year. The king is like that. The common people are not like that. So he is a social part of the society. The Chinese people are not like that. 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 High officials and noble lords used brick and stone to build a place to rest after their death. In Hejiang County, Sichuan Province, people of the Han Dynasty built tombs on the cliffside in the hope of becoming immortal when they died. As early as the Shang and Zhou dynasties, people believed that their spirits would go up to heaven, but their souls would stay behind with their bodies underground. One hand tomb discovered in Yinan has three courtyards and a tomb gate, which is also the gate to the courtyards. Octagonal pillars support the roof. There are storerooms and stables in the courtyard. Houses have living rooms, storerooms, and kitchens. The host and hostess have their own bedrooms, which are connected because it was believed that their souls would come together here. He in it shows all kinds of structure and meaning are related to the real life of the person. The concept of honoring the dead as they would the living made elaborate funerals popular in the Han Dynasty. In a village in Lodi, Hunan province, Ga Xiaoping and his colleagues are conducting a funeral for a person who has just passed away. This is a traditional ritual, which people believe can speed the spirit of the dead to the afterlife. Social changes mean that Ga has had to adjust the ritual to meet the demands of the bereaved in the modern age. But a bridge remains essential.
The deceased person goes through the way bridge with servants guarding the carriage. Many local officials are in the procession. During the Han Dynasty, there were five bridges over the Wei River to the north of the capital city, Chang'an. When an emperor died, his hearse was taken over the Wei Bridge to his mausoleum. As time went by, people came to regard the Wei River as the boundary between the world of the living and the world of the dead. The bridge over the Wei River connected the two worlds. This tablet inscription in stone relief records the funeral of a local official on August 24th, 151 AD. He is put in the carriage and others follow him to the pavilion. As they walk to the pavilion, the door is half opened and somebody leans out. Funerary rites developed over the 2,000 years between the Han Dynasty and the Qing Dynasty. Wong Hui sarcophagus was discovered in Ya'an, Sichuan province. On it, there is a carving of a woman standing by a gate. When you look carefully, you see that only her head is human. She has an animal's body and there are scales on her legs. She also has a long, thin tail and a pair of wings. She is the immortal who guides newcomers through the half-open gate to heaven. The heavenly gate is the threshold between two worlds. The watchtower represents the heavenly gate. In the Han Dynasty, watchtowers could be found in all counties. They were the gate of a building complex. Watchtowers by the divine pathways of graveyards also symbolized the heavenly gate. Walking through the gate meant going to the world of the immortals. Wu Chi En Cho was born in Luoyang, Hanan Province and lived in the middle to late Western Han Dynasty. After he and his wife died, their family used 20 bricks to make a mosaic on the ceiling on the theme of achieving immortality. In the picture, Bu is shown standing on a snake with a bow and arrow in his hands. His wife stands on a three-headed bird holding a three-legged crow in her arms. The sun, the moon, many immortals and animals surround them and guide them to the immortal world. Rather than being depressing, the whole scene conveys a sense of life and vigor. People in the neighborhood always invite Ga Xiaoping and his team to conduct local funerals. Although nobody knows what the afterlife will be like, the ritual helps to comfort the bereaved and provides them with an opportunity to remember the departed. Mm -hmm. 
风不打紧，风不打紧，眼睛看着左手，右手成勾，勾尖冲地。Gao Jia works as a part-time Tai Chi tutor at Beijing Bai Jia Zhuang Primary School. Gao is a computer professor at Beijing Information Science and Technology University. Over the past 20 years, he has taught many programmers. Okay. Gao has been practicing martial arts for many years. Computer programmers spend a lot of time at work. The fast-paced routine of their jobs stress on their bodies, and Gao wants to adapt some of his simple Tai Chi movements to help programmers de-stress. The guide to technique unearthed at Ma Wang Due Hand Tombs depicts 44 moves. It seems like a bodybuilding exercise manual from ancient times. Eight section brocade exercise is based on eight moves stated in eight pithy formula. These healthy exercises help people to breathe regularly. What was the purpose of the guide, and what was the reference for such moves 2,000 years ago? This silk painting, unearthed at Ma Wang Due Hand Tombs, depicts heaven, the human world, and the underworld. The people of the Han Dynasty regarded these three worlds as a single entity and believed that by following the Guide to Technique, mortal people could gradually become at one with nature and in the end become immortal. Every weekend, Gao practices with his master in a park. Bai Yu Shi is an exponent of Wu-style Tai Chi and works as a doctor. Having practiced for years with his master, Gao has gradually come to understand martial arts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 以武不分家呢，是一句非常经典的老话。Bai teaches Gao that if blood is a river in the human body, meridians and collaterals are the undercurrents. The purpose of the guiding technique is to guide the meridians and collaterals to move in a way that will benefit the body. Zheng Jia Shan bamboo slips from the early Western Han Dynasty explain how to use the guiding technique to treat 45 different diseases. A thousand years have passed. No one really knows what immortality would be like. 
But these moves have become the foundation of traditional Chinese medical science and lie at the heart of Chinese martial arts. They've also helped a lot of people to get fit and pursue healthier lifestyles. Uh 3 a.m. on March 20th in the lunar calendar. Wei Mountain in Jingchuan, Gansu Province is crowded with people. They have come to worship the Queen Mother of the West. It's said that today is her birthday. A ceremonial temple fair is held in Jing Chuan on this day every year. Escorted by a guard of honor, statues of the East Duke and the Queen Mother of the West are carried in large sedan chairs for people to worship. The ceremony can be dated back to 110 BC when Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty first came here to worship the Queen Mother of the West. The Han Dynasty reached the peak of its power during his reign. However powerful he was on Earth, the Emperor realized that life was short. He longed for more time. In fact, he craved immortality. He was even willing to leave his wife and children in return for immortality. When he was middle-aged, he went to Jing Chuan 11 times to look for the elixir of the Queen Mother of the West. This started the worship of the Queen Mother of the West during the Han Dynasty. According to the classics of mountains and seas, the Queen Mother of the West was born at the very moment the world was created. She had a leopard's tail, a tiger's teeth, and her hair was disheveled. She was in charge of the mysterious world at the sunset place. By the time of the Han Dynasty, the Queen Mother of the West was described as a noble lady. And to be in harmony with the yin-yang theory, the East Duke was created, and the couple always appeared in stories together with their servants. Most importantly, she was said to have possessed the elixir of life. In the morning, the three-legged crow holds a mulberry in its mouth and flies all the way from the east to the west to present food to the Queen Mother of the West. The sun goes up and down with it. The jade rabbit makes the elixir of life on the moon. The flying of the three-legged crow and the powers of the jade rabbit cause the alternation of the sun and moon as well as the passage of time. During the Han Dynasty, war, disease, and natural disasters killed people every day. 
People's longing for the immortal and timeless shows their love of life. has been in a coma in a hospital in Guangzhou for two days. On the third morning, the doctor informs the patient's relatives that his condition has deteriorated rapidly and he is now brain dead. The patient's brother comes to Gao Min and asks her to arrange an organ donation, hoping it will help other people to live. Kanan 所以我就在生死之间这样子。所以呢，能够把器官捐献出来，算是一种生命的传递，一种生命的延续。那我们的生命就没有结束。本来它也是需要换器官的人，他比较体会到其他需要换器官的人的一个痛苦。在器官，让另一个生命又重新跳动起来，在世界的某一个角落，还在健康的活着，幸福的去享受生活。当时老太太这样说了一句话：“我儿子没有离开我。”过去呢，我们用那个塔片。The Han Dynasty Painting Research Institute of Peking University uses 3D holographic scanning imaging technology to restore a hand tomb discovered in Anchu, Shandong Province. We are Zhu Ching Sheng is trying to interpret the handstone reliefs from a new angle. He's editing the general catalogs of the Han Dynasty stone reliefs in a new way. We Today, 
们在解释汉代的时候，实际上是在表述我们自己。In 123 BC, Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty conferred the title of Bo Wang Marquis on the knowledgeable and well-informed Zheng Qian. The ancient town of Borwang was once a prosperous place, and many historical relics from that time still survive. In the Ming Dynasty, people used stone from nearby Han tombs to build this bridge. It linked the village to the ancient town of Borwang. Today, visitors stand on the Borwang Bridge and touch stone first cut in the days of the Han Dynasty. Thus, 2,000 years of history flows on like the river beneath their feet.